<laughs> How do you satisfy a woman with rum and champagne? Yes. Watch this video. Was, Ian's gonna show you. And, and there was a woman. She agrees. <laughs> In the glass. It goes right in the glass. Oh. Oh. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. What do we do here? Oh, Ian and Dan and Derek are gonna make for you a cocktail. This is called the Airmail. Never made this cocktail on the channel. Producer, executive producer Sam Schwartz. Thank you, Sam, for being a Patreon subscriber at patreon.com slash CMC. I'm gonna give you the recipe. It's gonna come up after Ian's done doing this because I have a new camera and it's watching Ian make drinks. So the drink recipe is gonna be an ounce and a half of Cuban style rum. So for that we're using Havana Club because it's actually Cuban rum. Um, if you can't, uh, hold on. Half ounce of fresh lime juice, half ounce of honey syrup, one and a half ounce of champagne, boom. It's gonna More than likely it's gonna be a top of champagne so it's gonna be whatever that happens. Um, if you can't get Cuban rum, I, personally, for me, Bacardi is going to be the next best thing. Havana Club, buy Bacardi. It's called Havana yeah, Club. Yeah, I was going to mm -hmm. say, does the Bacardi have one? Uh, yeah. I, oh. oh no. Look at that. It's right here. Yeah. There's this. Also super tasty. Um, you can watch the video I did on Havana That's versus... Puerto Rican rum. Yes, exactly. Havana versus... <laughs> um, Havana Club versus Havana Club. <laughs> this is from Cuba. This is from Puerto Rico because... We still haven't freaking got out of that Cuban Missile Crisis bullshit yet, or whatever. Like, there's still like that. Guantanamo? What's that thing where An you embargo. can't? Embargo. Yes. Oh, yeah. there you go. So you can't. You can get this anywhere in the fucking world if you're at an airport and you're leaving and coming back. One of the two. Um, you can get that at your tax-free, duty-free store. That's where I got those. I mean, it always come in these big ass bottles, which is nice. I'd buy well, three because it's really fantastic. Uh, this has actually got history to it. It's like a, a Caribbean. They call this a Caribbean French 75. There's a French 75 video we did earlier in the month, last month, December. Um, the airmail um, started. Airmail started in 1911. That's when they would fly mail to where they needed to go, so get there really fast. Correspondence super quick. Uh, Cuba decided they wanted to make their own version of airmail, so they can get mail fast. And uh, apparently, Bacardi came out with. I think it was 1930 or so. Came out with a, a recipe called the airmail because it was new that. in Cuba. Yeah, go ahead. You can drink that twice. And I will just tell you the story. Is this related to the paper airplane at all? It is not related to the paper airplane. <laughs> paper airplane is Yes, here. that's what the mail comes mm. in on. Paper airplane, also good. Very good. Yeah. And you can and get the... Because you can make little paper airplanes. And yeah. you can get the... Uh, who doesn't like paper airplane? Amaro Nonino at the New Hampshire liquor store now, so that's nice. For really? those I think I'm in Kinda Long Island, well, I'm around. not. Um, so... Basically, yeah. they came out with a pamphlet. Don't give it to Julie, though. She won't give it back. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Is it? If yeah. It's good. Oh, it sounds good. I might steal it. It's good. Oh yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can let this thing <clears throat> sit in my face for a while. It's good. Mm. It is. It's like a champagne meets daiquiri, but like the Cuban yeah. rum goes really well with that champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's got a funkiness to it that uh, blends well. Mm. That's right. Oh. Bye. I don't want any more. <laughs> you know, we're trying to do a show where we taste it. <laughs> you already um, tasted it. You got it in your mind. So it was good. Just comment. Uh, it looked pretty cool. So I don't want to show say it that, to that, you, but it's wrong. Oh, You'll have to rewind if you want to see <laughs> it. <laughs> they like it. They like oh, it. That's, that's really good. good. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's almost like an old Cuban. It's really good. Yeah. Other than, like, I think old Cuban has mint. That's it. And ango. So it's like a mojito. Oh, it has a. Uh, oh, ango's nice. No, it has ango, and then you and then you dress it with. So meat. it's like the uh, the where's cavalli cavalli something where's uh, what what was that drink we drank? Oh, um, cavalli where's something or other. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is like ango doused in scent. No, so yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, so the old Cubans like a couple yeah. dashes of ango yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. And then some mint. That makes sense. Yeah. That's a good so drink. Like a you guys should make this. That's a good mm. holiday drink. Party. See, it's holiday drink. It's simple. Cuban rum, champagne. Basically, make a daiquiri, but instead of using sugar syrup, you use honey, mm. which yeah. is going to give it a little bit of more of a sharper honey. sweetness. Yeah. Sugar is going to be a little bit, it's going to give you that sweet flavor you get, but the honey tends to be a little, it spikes. The sweetness in the honey is really sharp up front, and then it dissipates, where sugar is just sweet all the way through. Yeah. So this is this gives you a different, different flavor with a dry champagne. Definitely nice. Mm. Um, and so apparently from the pamphlet that went out when Bacardi advertised this drink, the garnish was a stamp. 
I was saying YMCA. Ah. Yeah. It's airman. It's like YMCA. It's emojis. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. It's the wrong order. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> We've got a plenty of fans here, so this is going to go we on recipe. It. Recipe. Dot. It's gone. Jesus. Oh. Shit. Recipe.authorsrace.com to get this recipe. And it's easy to make. It's going to have to go out there. It, oh, no. it is simple to make. We like it. You could add a little Good. dash of Angostor to that, too. I got enough honey for one go. more. Add some mango. <laughs> yeah, you could add mango. Add mango and see what it does. Make it in batches. So if you're going to make Two this dashes. in batches. Yeah, just add the champagne afterwards. After. Yeah. So, like, if you're going to make six of these... What you do is you build the whole thing out, all six of them, without this champagne, and at the end you top it with champagne, and you yeah. garnish it if you want to with postal stamps, or just, which I don't recommend. I don't, yes. Can you buy postal stamps? At this rate, Edible Dan might get lucky tonight, or yelled at. <laughs> yes. Or given the silent treatment. Mm. Oh. Are you talking about my levels of... Oh. No, I'm talking about Dan's wow. future. Ian's going to get the silent treatment. <laughs> wow. And yell that. Wow, Ian just Do you see what happens? Do you see what happens, big guy, when you like And now we know what face she's in. Yeah, now you know. Like you've already called it out. Oh, yeah. Boom. She has, you're gonna get lucky, yell that, or she, she's treatment. not as smo she's not as snack mode yet, so it's fine. We got time. Uh um, some peanuts? <laughs> All right. I <laughs> Oh. She's raising. Oh, she's raising. Yeah. Stop the rhyming. I know she's not getting too mad because I'm making her a drink right now. So <laughs> she's... Exactly. So, so I can say all this stuff right now. That's right. Did I'm going to stop after I give her the drink. <laughs> I don't remember if I call it Sam Schwartz is our executive producer at uh, comment, uh, Patreon.com slash CMC. Or click the join button on YouTube. Either way, I'll start to shout you guys out. Um, this is, I don't remember when this recipe goes out, it's probably later, We're, it's gonna, things are gonna start to get crazy in a little bit. We're on January 13th. The next one I think is the Porn Star Martini. Alright. So things are gonna get Did crazy. Put mango in that? It's got the mango color, can you see it? Look at that! No, we can't, the bottles are in the way, we can't see. Uh, uh, so you, uh, let's put this uh, over there. Is that so already a champagne? Spill oh, yeah. All and transfer. Color. Is that good? You just have to top it with champagne, huh? <laughs> You, you, I got you, and I forgot to snap in the point. Oh, it's too, it's too much. I got <laughs> bitter bang. Bitter bang. Bitter bang. A bitter bang. It has ongo no flavor. So and he delivers. Like wow. delivers. What, a, what a nice guy. Oh my god. What a oh nice what a guy. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. What the hell's the no? Oh, I'm thinking Blazing Saddles. What a nice guy. <laughs> Do you remember the, the Ango? The, I would. I, I like the Ango addition. It adds a little oh, bit nice of that, like the train spices flavor, but not too much. Twelve is my yeah. limit on the Wiener Schnitzels. Ah. <laughs> Doesn't sound much vitamin E I can get in my system. Oh, yes. oh that's it. You yeah, add a little dash of Ango. Boom. That's an Good old call. Cuban, though. So here's here's the difference. If you add a little dash <laughs> of Ango, it goes from, okay. Oh, well, it goes through a different she's drink. She's liking it's me. Right. It's an old Cuban it after that, pretty much. It's it's much. Different it's different it brightened the citrus. It did brighten the citrus. It's, it's probably not going to last as long. An old Cuban is basically, it's, it's a daiquiri. No, that was already last long, at this point. That first one was going like that. Wait, you guys drink. Wait till Jen's mm, sick. Oh, oh, Jen was holding it up. Jen, you were pretty proud. Oh, it's all gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, it wasn't me. It was Jen. Look at Jen's sip. <laughs> all of this is happening. This tells you... Someone's already home. <laughs> this is a drink that you need to make. It's good. For your ladies. Don't worry, I'm going to be a if, if you like daiquiris, adding champagne to them yep. just makes them better. It's a good thing our friends and, love us. And, then, and you can use dark. You can use a darker rum, too. You can. You can. Like, I, like an old Cuban, you can use a darker rum. Like, uh... Okay, well, there's the... Like yes, yeah. Isn't, yeah. There, isn't there a dark Cuban rum? It is good. Havana Club? No. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. You could definitely use a dark. Yes. Yeah, this is cheaper. You can definitely use like a darker years. Cuban rum. This is old. Use dark Cuban rum, a little bit of splash of Whatever you, you like. Fuck around. Yeah, wiener schnitzels. <laughs> Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to experiment with this drink in different yes. variations. Right. How many rums can you use? Rum is good. Rum is good. <laughs> Quarter of the night. Oh, How many rums can a rum, rum, rum? Jack Sparrow agrees. Rum is good. You better make it, Ian. Make one plantation. 
I gotta make more honey syrup. Wow. <laughs> Fucking honey syrup. Wow. All right. Let's wrap this up and. Yeah. We're Take wrapping it up. Let's wrap it up. I just Go make yourself an airmail! Because we're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> we're about to satisfy some women. <laughs>